I'm going to use f of x and g of x notation. Even though we're not talking about functions here, I want, to talk, I want to go through the inside and outside. So I can say the parent function here, f of x is equals x squared. The g of x function, which is my inside function, is going to be 3x minus 1 over x squared plus 3. Would you guys agree with me? Yes? That's not a very nice child function. But can we find the derivative of that? Yes, it's not going to be fun, right? But we can do that. f prime of x is equal to 2x. g prime of x is equal to, I'm just going to do the derivative of the first expression, which is 3 times the second expression minus my first expression times the derivative of my second function, which is 2x, all over x squared plus 3 squared. Okay. Now, do I have enough information that I can use to, do I have enough information that I can use um, to write the chain rule? Yes. So I'm going to take the derivative of the second function. So I'm going to do um, So I'm going to take 2, plug in g of x. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, plug in g of x. 2, 3x minus 1 over x squared plus 3. And then times it by g prime of x, which looks like this. Now, I apologize for the sake of time. I don't have time to simplify this for you because class is about to end here in just any second. However, ladies and gentlemen, do you guys see that all this is is just some distributed property and combining like terms, right? I mean, it's not like, this isn't the most craziest thing in the world. You would just simplify the numerator. You could see the denominator is going to be x squared plus 3 cubed. And then just multiply across and combine like terms in the numerator. But class is about to ring. So I'm just going to have to end that problem there for you.